Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Heather, this is Honest Homemaking, and I haven't seen you in a while. Tonight, we're going to clean the living room because that's, that's all I have left today. Um, feeling overwhelmed with life, overwhelmed with children, overwhelmed with the mess. And I can't remember the thing, I'll see if I can find it to insert it here, but it basically said doing something is better than doing nothing at all. So tonight I'm going to clean this living room so that in the morning when I wake up, I won't have to see this mess. And that will be my doing something is better than nothing. So let me show you what we are working with today. Of course, all the tables are always piled up. Bobby, you sleeping? He's already ready for bed. Another piled up table over here. Some stuff on the floor. Hi, Pepper. Pepper finally got to his grooming appointment. He's so old. Pepper is 13. All of this baby stuff in the floor, Leo stuff on the floor. He somehow got a hold of my earrings. I don't know if you can see that down there. That's an earring. There are quite a few of them in the floor somewhere. And then just piled up stuff. Uh, if I'm feeling like super energetic and pumped up, I'd like to wipe the stairs down because where I painted them, they've been kicked and they're a little dirty. Uh, we'll see how that goes because like I said, I'm already, I'm already done for the day. Mason is asleep. Hopefully he will stay that way. Leo, Alex, and Zach are all upstairs playing. And Chris is working on some work in the living room. So I have just a very little amount of time to see if I can get this stuff cleaned up. Don't care what you came for. very long we now have a clean living room uh, Mason is awake and he's definitely hungry so 
I don't have time to scrub down the stairs like I wanted to because as you can see right here there's dirty scuff marks from kids in their shoes but aside from the tripod the entire rest of the living room is picked up Leo helped me Leo did you help your mommy yeah um on a non-related note if anybody has any tips on how to get one of these away from your three-year-old when your six-month-old still needs one leave me your tips because we're trying to get him to leave it alone by telling him you know that he's a big boy things like that but he still continues to take the passy from Mason so help a girl out anyway uh, that's that's all for this time hopefully it won't be as long before you see me again I'm going to uh, get ready for bed and wash some of this sweat off I'll see you guys next time bye guys